Hello my Lapidary and Pottery friends. Today I've got a super special project lined up for today. I'm going to be shaping one of those crawlies my good friend Wilt Bond, Cajun Rockhound, sent me a while back. I'm super excited about this. I've never worked with one of these before, which is why I'm so excited about this. Hopefully I don't wind up destroying this rock, but I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of fun. But first, let's go over the gear I'm going to be using for this project. I've got here my good old pair of safety goggles. Always important to protect those eyes. I've got here a good old pair of gloves I'm going to be using to protect my hands. And of course you want to have plenty of adequate ventilation to make sure you're not breathing in any of that rock dust. Alright, I think we're ready to get started on this. Oh, and of course I've got my fully filled up water reservoir right here. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. I've got this side right here that looks really promising. You can see all those neat bands in it. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's uh, concaved in here. This is going to make it a little bit of a challenge because we're going to have to remove a lot of grit. What has me worried though, since I've never worked with one of these before, if I keep grinding down, is these bands going to go through or is it just at a surface level? It's really difficult to tell, but there's only one way to learn and that's to get started and dive right into it. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to dome this top part out. I may wind up flattening this bottom surface right here. Yeah, and then that would be perfect for the display. And I really like these little cavities in here, so we'll definitely leave those. I'd probably not have much of a rock left, even if I decided to get rid of those. And we might polish up the top of this part. As you can see, here's a real beautiful close-up of this. Look at those. Oh my goodness, isn't that awesome? So here we go. Make sure I got my water supply going. Whoops, not that much though. Then we're ready. Make sure you got the old glasses on too. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out with making this surface completely flush and flat. That'll give me a nice surface that I can rest my rock on when it comes time to display it. And it'll also let me know how soft this rock is, if it's gonna braid quick or if it's not. And once I find that out, then I'll start on the main surface where I want this part's actually going to be domed out. So here we go. Oh wow, that is looking pretty cool. Look at that, oh man. This is one beautiful rock, wow. Oh wow, just look at that. That is cool, oh my goodness. Wow, what a beauty, isn't it? Oh man, I've got this surface nice, flush, and flat. It doesn't get any smoother than this right now for the first step. We're ready to move on and start polishing out this little dome area. This is going to take a lot of work. I spent about 10 minutes just flattening this out. This rock is super hard, so it's going to require a lot of work. When it comes to really hard rocks, though, you definitely want to take your time, making sure you knock out every little imperfection on these early steps, especially the first one, because it's going to save you so much time in the long run. Let's start working on that doming part now. So again, this is the area where I'm thinking about doming out right here. It's gonna require a lot of work because you can see how it concaves right in there. Oh boy, but I really love this pattern design. I hope it stays. We don't wind up knocking it out. Now, if worse comes to worse, if it looks like it is, I can always stop and just have kind of a big pit in the center, but I think we're gonna try and do that. And of course I've got my already dried out surface on the bottom. Man, that is just, that is ooh, it's so smooth. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, let's, let's take one last look at it before we make that big decision. I just don't see too many bands in this, but I'm not familiar with these kind of rocks, so it's a bit of a gamble. If I knock this out, this has almost got the already domed area. This would be the easy streak right here. And this right here is going to be the 
long and rough road, but I like the design, how it kind of merges in right there. Kind of hoping we got some payoff in the center here. Yeah, let's go ahead and stick with the original plan. And you're going to want to keep rocking. Wow, did you see that little rock that just flew out? That's a good reason you wear your safety goggles, guys. We're just going to keep rocking this rock back and forth and hope for the best on this one. Just don't keep it in any spot for any too long time because it's going to run into more complications. Definitely making some progress on it. Wow, that is so beautiful. You can see I'm getting this really sharp edge though here. We gotta be careful of that because the sharper it gets, the more brittle it's gonna get. So I'm gonna go knock this out and make it more dull so I can continue knocking the rounded part out. I definitely don't want that to get too sharp. And definitely increases the chance of something cracking off and some disaster happening. Just gently rock it around, really gently. Now you can see I got that sharp edge nice and blunt now. I've got more room to work with so I can keep shaving off. Man, I've got this huge pit here. I think that's going to be a permanent part of this, but I want to knock out some of these other imperfections that you can kind of see right there. We're going to get rid of him and then we'll start to dome out the backside here. This is looking really cool. Wow, just look at that difference. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. I really like the way this is shaping out. Let's move on to that next step now. I've got here the old 180 diamond grip. It's always amazing at how much quieter this one is, this step, than the uh, previous step. Sure we got enough water still in the reservoir here. Looking good. And again, I'm just starting with the bottom, getting that all taken care of first, then we can start smoothing the rest out. This is why it's important to take your time on that first step. This second step was super quick. It is looking really good. Nice and smooth. We're already ready to move on to the next step. I'm gonna skip the brown disc. I don't think we're gonna need it for this particular project and I'm gonna jump right into the red one. This is actually polishing up really quick and easy. I'm surprised. And let's just keep moving it around as much as possible. Don't let it sit idle in one spot. It should be pretty quick. Wow, this has got one really incredibly beautiful polish. I tell you, this is going to be one happy little rock when it's done. Let's move on to the final step, which is going to be that aluminum oxide. Oh, man, I tell you, this is so awesome. This is always my favorite step, guys. The final polishing. This is where all the hard work really pays off. I've got here my aluminum oxide already laced onto this felt pad right here. 
I've got the old crawly right here and we're ready to go. I've gotten here some distilled water. Very important to use distilled water or some kind of purified water form. You don't want any calcium in your water that can add contaminants to the pad. So I'm going to go ahead and moisten this just a little bit. Just a few sprints of water on here. Nothing too crazy. Kind of rub that in. Maybe even take the rock. Spray that a little bit and kind of just rub it into the pad. Kind of tell when it's damp enough. You don't want it to be too damp. The goal here is as we're polishing this up, it's going to get real warm. It's going to dry it out. By the time it starts to dry it out, you're going to know you're done. And you can move on to the next, which will be when we go and round it off. So I'm going to set this on a speed of about two. Don't need it anything too crazy fancy. We're going to go with the flat surface first. Just let it just glide on that surface. Ooh, that might be a little bit too wet. But it'll dry out fast. And just keep it moving around. Zoom, just like that. Wow. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. All right, let's get that dome part polished now. Just take your time, back and forth. As this one starts to dry out, add a little bit more water since we got a lot of work still left to do on this doming. Don't want it to dry out too quick. Oh boy, just look at that, whoa. That is beautiful. Wow, it doesn't get much better than this, now does it? Wow, I just love these beautiful patterns on it. It's lovely lacy swirls. Oh, this is just awesome. Well, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to leave a comment below, all right? I really hope you guys enjoyed watching how to shape and polish this crawly. Man, it sure was a blast for me. I want to thank you again, Will Bond, for sending this rock to me and letting me be able to work on such an awesome rock. Thank you again, my friend. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow. I got a lot of other terrific lapidary videos out there, as well as some primitive pottery stuff, so be sure to check those out as well. All right, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Till next time.